Hey, welcome to Too Many Gadgets. So today I'm going to teach you how to use this small and cheap pocket radio to identify where you may have a breach on your lawn's guide cable if you have a robot mower. So when you install a robot lawnmower, you need to install a guide cable for, so that it knows where it cannot go. And this cable is fairly easy to get breaches on if you don't get it, it deep enough into the ground or if you're doing gardening and by accident just cut the cable by putting something into the ground. And this has happened multiple times during the last three years where I've had this. I love my robot uh, lawnmower, but again, ever so often we do get a breach on the cable and sometimes it's very easy and very evident where it is. But sometimes it can be, especially if uh, it's the robot uh, mower is not running and someone, again, by accident doing gardening work, breaches the cable somewhere. Then the, the mower will not move and it just says, you know, that the cable has been broken and you're, you're totally stomped, you know, where is this breach? Well, I found a neat trick. So what you do is the following. Let me just show you the example first. So to begin with, we need to remove one end of the perimeter wire. Then we take our pocket radio, turn it on and put it on the AM band. Turn up the volume to max so it's easy for you to pick up if there is a contact. And again, just to test out, we will test on the direction where we don't have removed the guide cable from the dock and there's clear contact. And again, just to validate, we take the other direction where we remove the cable. And here you see that there is no contact. So it should be easy to you, for you to differ between the two sounds that it makes, whether or not there is a connection or not. So then you start testing different places on your lawn to identify where the breach is. Here there is clear contact, so we should be good here. So it's further down the lawn. Then I'm testing in another location. And here we can see that there is no contact, so it's further back. New place. Okay, we have contact, so it's, yeah, again, further down. But when we test here, we can see that there is no contact. Okay, so now we know it's between here and the last place we tested that the breach is. So now you just systematically go back and forth and reduce sort of the yeah the place between the the where you test and that will make sure that you find sort of the precise location of the breach. It can sometimes be within a couple of feet where you can hear the sound, so you need to pay attention once you get close to this. But usually it will be fairly easy to spot, like here where I actually now found where the breach is. So okay, so again, like shown here, and again, sorry for the very <laughs> handheld camera here. Um, but like you saw here, it only took me a couple of minutes to actually find where the breach was. So again, put the pocket radio on the AM band, put it around the 520 uh, frequency, and you should be good to, uh, to find, like you saw in my example, that it gives a very clear audible tone where the cable is not broken. But you do need to keep in mind the important first step that I did in the video where I took part of the cable out of the dock because that removes that it doesn't go in power in both directions because if it does then uh, even though the cable is broken it's only in this small segment where it's broken that it will not give the tone. So you need to remove one of the sides. It's not important if the front or the back side of it just as long as you remove one of the, the cables so you don't so you only have power going in one direction and then very clearly we'll see where you don't have uh, yeah, power when you put over the radio over there where the guide cable supposedly is. So a very neat trick and again uh, you can save money because again some of the robot vacuum manufacturers are now selling guide cable uh, breach uh, kits where you, uh, you get this small yeah, but again, they cost, perhaps I've seen them sold around $30, $40, uh, 
where again you can buy this per, for perhaps even you know less than ten dollars so save your money and just buy a, a cheap pocket radio and you should be good to find quickly those annoying breaches should it happen to you or when it happens to you because i'm guessing it happens to everyone that's it guys hope you can use this small tip and see you guys in another video bye